Hi everyone, it's your girl Wandika, originally from Jamaica, and as promised, today I will be showing you how I recreated pages for December 4 to 6. I also had to create a closure because I saw signs already of the book getting fat. So I'll pop in with a voiceover here and there to explain anything that I may need to that's happening on the screen, but I'll mostly let the video play. I try to keep to the color scheme for each page based on the backdrop already installed, but I still want my pages to have a vintage feel, so you'll see I use a lot of scraps that show that. Okay, I hope you enjoy. So I just want to say that like a lot of people, I had Bridgerton fever. When it came out on Netflix, I binge watched everything. And then this day I came across news that Abigail Barlow and Emily Bear were nominated for a Grammy for an unofficial 
Bridgerton musical. And this was started on TikTok and listen to their music and wish that they would make this musical for real. I went and I started to rewatch a lot of my favorite scenes, starting with episode five. If you know, you know. <laughs> so the only thing was that I wished I had used the kiss painting that I used on day four on this day because it was a lot more appropriate, but I think the page turned out okay. Like I mentioned, I had to create a closure because the book was already feeling like it would become too big to stay closed. So I removed a few pages from before and decided to make a ribbon closure like all of my books, especially the Christmas ones, eventually get. I thought I'd just show you that process.
The funny thing about this page is that it was my hardest one to figure out. It took the longest. And the thing is, I didn't really enjoy the recipe. I think I prefer making it with peach or juicier fruit. <laughs> well, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. I have more in store for you this month. So, as soon come. Till then, walk good. Thank you.